We're 25 days away from the end of 2020. Oh, so it's time for some headlines. Well, we have a first follow-up story on Amber Live. Uh, and who knew I still had a first left? <laughs> a couple weeks ago, we made fun of the New Orleans Swingers Convention called Naughty and Nolens taking place in the age of COVID. Well, guess what? They all got COVID. Mm -hmm. Well, 41 attendees came down with the virus after the event. And now the organizer, Bob Hannaford, says if he could go back in time, I wouldn't produce this event again. <laughs> First off, never go to an orgy organized by a guy named Bob. Trust me on that one. Orgy should only be thrown by someone named Flavius or Diculus or some other sexy Roman style name, don't you think? Um, second, there's a global pandemic on. The virus travels through spit and other bodily fluids. Think of masks and social distancing as condoms and the virus as herpes of the lungs. Now, if you found an orgy wasn't using condoms and someone attending had herpes, you'd probably skip the orgy. Now, according to Bob, they used color-coded wristbands for people who had antibodies and tested negative for the virus. Because nothing says, let's turn off the lights and play who's in my orifice like the word antibodies. I hear the, antibody, the word antibodies and I can't get my clothes on fast enough. <laughs> now, in other secret orgy news, me thinks the homophobe does protest too much. An anti-gay Hungarian politician was nabbed at an orgy in Belgium that was mostly men. Mm -hmm. The police who busted up the gathering due to COVID restrictions discovered it was a leather daddy orgy with several alleged members of the European Parliament in attendance, including Joseph Svager of Hungary, who tried to escape the police by climbing out the window and down a drain pipe. Yeah, we've all seen that in movies, haven't we? Once he was caught with drugs, I might add, he told police that he had immunity as a member of the EU parliament. Of course, he has since resigned his post saying he had to go through some extended soul searching. I think you searched enough, buddy. No one goes to a leather daddy orgy by accident. Hey, you want to go to a party? What kind of party? An orgy. Wait, what kind of orgy? A leather daddy? Okay, I'm in. And the guest mistook the police as party goers. <laughs> they had to go, go, that had to go great. Uh, nice police costume, daddy. Where are the actual police? We're shutting down the orgy. Yeah, you are, daddy. Now Hank kept me to the bed while I pass all anti-gay legislation. <laughs> Ah, love that story. In another train wreck news, a star is born as the Trump campaign's lawyer, Rudy. Rudy, I died COVID by, from COVID four times and got it again today and keep coming back. Giuliani brought his star witness in to his fight against election fraud to a Michigan State House of Representatives hearing, and it didn't go well. The witness, Melissa Carone, or is it Corona, uh, did, what, did what can only be described as a drunk Karen and sounded like she was demanding to speak to the representative's manager as she rambled, interrupted, and snapped at lawmakers while declaring the election fraudulent. The Trump presidency created the Karens over the past four years. It makes sense they would bring in a Karen to try and steal the election. I don't know how much off-season rosé in a box is, but you got to drink to get like this. But that was a spectacular performance. <laughs> in lesser news, Giuliani audibly farted in the same hearing. Our country is so classy after the last four years. Maybe that wasn't hair dripping down his hair dye dripping down his head last week. But, and finally, we have a queen of the month announcement in a feel-good story of the season. 
drag queen pastry chef Chuck Latina found a home in Denver after moving from New York three years ago and now finds purpose in, per in performing a drag show while, per while selling pies door to door to hungry Denver audiences during the COVID. Fellow queen, we salute you. Hey, Lucy Bell, that sounds like a challenge. Thank <laughs> you.